Getting ready. Okay. And welcome everybody. My name is Pelle Duale. I'm a developer in the Microsoft MakeCode team. And today I'm sitting with... Me, Emil. Emil. And we're going to be doing MakeCode Arcade. Uh, this is a super cool code editor to do retro games. Uh, you just need a browser and you can go to arcade.makecode.com in your browser. If you want to follow along this lesson <clears throat> and you're watching this on YouTube, right click two times on the video and then click on picture in picture and then you'll be able to follow the video and do the tutorial <clears throat> same time same time uh pretty cool and today we're doing happy flower happy flower we're going to go through the second tutorial we did chase the pizza last time um so... happy flowers it's the second tutorial we've got plenty of super cool step-by-step -step tutorial to learn how to build games so let's go ahead and do that Let's get started with this tutorial. You can see what's going to happen. There's a flower and it's like spitting out bees or something. <laughs> and it's happy. Flowers make everybody around them happier, especially the bees who get nectar from them. To show this, we can create a flower that sends happy little bees back to the hive. All right. Okay. Okay. And if you're familiar with these tutorials, we have the instructions on what to do. We've got the code on the right and then the arcade simulator on the left. Um, okay, let's get started. And we'll find a set my sprite in sprite, drag it on the on start and draw a flower. So the sprite is kind of the building block of all the games. Oops, wrong one. And I'm going to define a new sprite. No, that's fine. No, because you didn't put this one, right? Uh, no, it's the first one where you created. That's... And you put it on start so that it runs when your little game starts. Mm -hmm. And that creates uh, something, some kind of little element in your game. But of course, you haven't drawn anything. So Thanks. we're need, we're going to need to go ahead and draw. Uh, what do and they want to draw? draw? A flower. A flower. flower. All right. Flower. Let's show up for our skills here. I want to erase this real you know quick. What? Uh, let me, uh, let me re... re uh, yeah. Resize. Let's refresh the editor and just fix the toolbars here. And we still have toolbars. Oh well. Okay. We'll have to click down here. Okay. All right. Let's go. Okay. Actually, no. Let's let's resize the window. We don't need the. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. So draw a flower. Hmm, so you have like... And feel free to draw the flower you want. I think we've got a few in the gallery, so we're going to go with that. Okay. Maybe mud them. Let's go in the gallery and pick something. Looks like a flower. I could draw on this. Yeah. Yeah, we could start from the tree. <laughs> like a Christmas, uh, some kind of holiday themed flower. Maybe it has like berries in it. Who knows? I mean, are you an expert in flowers? I'm not. I'm not. All right. Sounds great. So that's her flower. It's a berry tree. Berry tree with kind of a smiley face in the middle. Yeah. Boom. Okay. And if you Oops. scroll down, uh, yeah, if you have a bigger resolution, you'll see you can click done. And cool. So we've created our flower. It shows up on the screen. That's really good. And then they say also drag a set color background too and choose the light blue. Um, so, mm. so we kind of want to have something that looks like the, so the sky, something. Okay. Uh, uh, darkness. Let's go for light blue. <laughs> well, of course, you could do a dark themed uh, flower thing, but I think the the bees are active on the day during yeah. the day. Okay, so let's let's keep it. Uh, light blue. Okay, um, you can check your your progress by clicking on the hint. So if you want to make sure you got it right, um, so we're good here. Yeah. I'm just copying them. Oh, they're good at drawing flowers. Yeah, that flower looks great, but it doesn't matter. Your flower looks great too. True. Let's keep going. It's you know. It's a bush. It's a, it's a bush of flower. Find an update every five hundred milliseconds in game. So that's an event that is going to run every 500 milliseconds, which is 
Half a second. Half a second. Oh, but so I'm gonna change it to one second. Oh, change it to one second. Okay. And you click just on the drop down, you can select one second. Drop up. So every every one second, the the thing in there is gonna code is gonna run. The code in these little mouth is gonna run. Yeah. Let's let's click on the next one. I think we got it right. Find set projectile to projectile from my sprite and sprites. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Let's see what they we're looking for. So we're gonna create a projectile, which is our B. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go in Sprite and we're gonna look at this set projectile to projectile. Here. This is it. And it's it's a way to create a different style of Sprite. Um, it's a Sprite that kind of moves automatically and also when it leaves the screen, it... Uh, yeah. When it leaves the screen, it kind of vanishes. Um, and then you can see that it has an image, just like the other sprites. Mm -hmm. uh, but also it has, it starts from another a sprite. And it has an initial velocity. So I have to start from... So you want to start from your my sprite, which is your flower, right? So yeah. the B starts from flower and then leaves. Isn't this... And this is a player. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's see what it's going to be. I'm going to draw a B. It's not that hard, I think. A B. It's kind of a sequence of stripes. It's gonna be a squarish B. Yeah. Oops. What is this? There you go. Say one more. Uh, you're gonna do the head. Does it have antennas? It has a few legs. Yeah, it has a few legs. Okay. And so a big dog. So I'm gonna. Maybe it has some honey attached to its leg. Oh yeah, it's leaving the flower. It's got some pollen. I'm to make it, wait, oops, I am doing something. I gotta do this. Oh, it's got spikes? No, it has to be a bit bigger. Oh. Okay, and then now I can do a Let's stinger. Very important, stinger. Yeah, the one centered. And then we're gonna do a head. Oh, there we go. Super cute. And maybe some some wings of sorts. Some wings. And more wings. Cool. Okay. And if you scroll down, you'll see a done done button. Oh, that looks even better. It's kind of a like a like a side jet style of yeah <laughs> of B. I need an enhanced singer. <laughs> there you go. All right. Some. It's a pretty cool singer. Okay, and oh yeah, we see the B is kind of shooting off every second. But uh, to where? As expected. Doesn't it have to go random? Well, we're gonna see, but it actually makes sense because it says it's going. 50 over x mm -hmm. so it's going this way and it's going 100 over y and remember y is inversed in games i don't even remember the normal one so <laughs> click on the gray box and make a nice little b okay we've done that strike wow or it's like sears all right now go get a pick random to 10 and place it in vx slot and change it to it's going to be math, and we're going to want to have a random x velocity. Yeah. <coughs> and we're going to want to want how much? So it says change. So change 0 to minus 25. So, wait, I want to see something with this keyboard. Is this minus? OK, no. We have a fancy ergonomic keyboard. <laughs> okay, I don't know. And, and twenty-five. Ten to twenty-five. So, what does it mean? What are we doing here? Um, we are picking a random from negative twenty-five to twenty-five, so it will go like kind of left or right at yeah. different speeds. Okay, that sounds great. 
Uh, and random, we use that in a lot in games. Otherwise, you always know where things are. Yeah. Duplicate. Okay. Right so right click and place it in the VUI. So we've got two random numbers, one for the VX and one for the VY. And we can see now that on the game, indeed, they're kind of sh shooting out in every direction. Yeah. I want to make them go faster. Later. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's finish the tutorial and then let's customize the game. Let's see what's the next step say. This is one of the harder things because they find a set my sprite x to zero in sprite and place it after set projectile change x to light spine from zero to three thousand okay let's take a look at that in sprites so you want to do this one yeah and okay drop it because we have to move the view yeah. and put it let's put it all the way in the view zoom out. Now let's let's zoom in and then move it Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. So, put it here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you want to change X to lifespan. So, X to lifespan. So, that's a block that lets you um, change some, some properties of your... Oh, I think we have to change... Mm, I think change my sprite to projectile. So... I think you've changed it on the wrong spot. Oh. It's probably on oh. this block. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the hint. Yeah, yeah here it's projectile, and here 3000. Why, why is there a lifespan? Like, that's well, I'm going to talk about the lifespan. Okay. The lifespan is how long the sprite is going to live. And every time the game tick goes, mm -hmm. it loses one lifespan. Okay. So after, after 3000 lifespan, and those are milliseconds. Mm -hmm. So after three seconds, the bee is going to disappear. So some of them don't make it back. Because some of them are very slow, and they're going to yeah. take forever to leave the screen. Yeah. So by doing lifespan, we tell how many seconds the sprite is going to live. Mm -hmm. And of course, we need to say that it's projectile, because if we say that it's my sprite, then the flower is going to disappear. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, your flower is complete. You can go to your program simulator and see the bee fly away. Yeah, some of the bees fly backward. That's not so cool. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the hint. Oh, yeah. So, so what we're trying to do is... is make them fly forwards. And I think if, if they... Let's go back. They're flying backwards, mm -hmm. but the wrong way. So if they fly backwards, we need to flip the image mm -hmm. um, so that they're kind of pointing left. Mm -hmm. But they're still moving backwards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see how they're going to do that. Set up a condition to change the image of the bee when it flies off towards the left. Aha, conditions. Let's see. Logic. So in logic, we're going to find the if then. Now, where does this go? This is going to go in... Yeah, and we're going to put that under set projectile. My right last here? Time. Yes. Mm, Let's drag it up. Should I zoom out? Actually, it's, it's a good idea not to drag the block, but to drag the view so that they don't overlap. Okay. Uh, and I think we can zoom in a bit. Okay. So, yep. so what's going to be the condition? We want to figure out whether our right is going backwards to go into the left which means okay so to the left yes. yeah. um, and it's telling you you want to drag a block in sprites that is sp uh, my sprite x so go in sprites don't we have to put this oh yeah we have to put the, the my uh, zero equals zero Zero less than zero, yes. <laughs> if it goes left, that means the speed, the VX is going to be? Uh, like somewhere, I don't know. 
don't know why. It if you're going so forward, your speed is positive. If you're going backwards, your speed is negative. Negative. Okay. And negative means it's less than zero. Zero. Okay. Well, that's that should be easy. Let's go in sprite. Mass sprite. And the second block there, the round one. This is a way to read what's going on with your sprite. So in this case, what we want to figure out is how fast is the sprite going on the horizontal, so left and right. And that is another property. If you click on X, it is going to be the velocity X. Now, if the sprite velocity X is less than zero, what should we do? And I think that's going to be the next step. Wait, don't we have to put this as a projectile? Oops. Oh, you're absolutely right. Oh, okay. Stop, stop, stop. So let it something. go. Let it go. So sometimes you, you make a mistake. Um, make sure you use undo. So you click on the little undo button. One, two, boom. Back to happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. So uh, cool trip, trick here. Actually, I'm going to move the camera. Hold on. Uh, all right. So do the, let's do a change and do the undo because I think our face was hiding it. Okay, so you messed up and you don't know where your block was. Go on the lower right and click undo until you're back to uh, safety. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let's click on the hint, make sure we've got that thing right. No, we have to put the projectile. Right? I think you're right. Yeah. Oops. Projectile. Bing, bing. Let's double check with the hint. Make sure we got all right. Yes. Okay, next. Go, go to the toolbox and open advanced categories. Advanced. Fly fast. Oh, yeah, there's more blocks there. There's one block. Find the flip the picture horizontally block. And you have to put it in the if statement. Now back in part, get a my sprite sprite and drop it. Oh yeah, well, it's not happy. I think we need to finish the instructions. Yeah. Okay, now, okay, so should I not put this in yet? Uh, let's create all the blocks we need. So we need that one and then we need my sprite image. Okay, uh, we're sprites. And the same thing, we're gonna get the X, my sprite X. And then we're gonna find and drop down image. Image, oh, there's a lot of priorities. Oh, actually it's probably another block. Oops. Oopsie. Wah, wah, wah. Wah. Oops. Clean up and try again. <laughs> my sprite image. Scroll down. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a special one. Okay. Um, change my sprite to, I think you want to put it in the flip picture horizontally and you want to this. flip the image of the projectile. Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, you want to change, this yeah. Projectile. So what are we doing here? If the projectile speed is negative, so it's going left, yeah. flip the image. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> Looks like it's working. Yeah doesn't control anything oh yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah. let's keep going right. we're done yeah. okay let's finish this tutorial and start modding it I want to make the bees fast uh, so at the end of the tutorial you can share your uh, you can share it so just uh, change your name if you want speedy bees I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them fast. you're gonna make them fast speedy bees. and you can uh, you can take a screenshot, so make sure you click on the little camera there. Screenshot. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Or you can even record if you press R in the simulator. The R key. And then R again to stop it. You can generate a GIF, which yeah. looks even cooler when you're sharing your game. And then just hit publish. 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 And Copy. yeah, you can uh, share the link with friends or... Uh, you can scan it with the phone, so if I... The cool code. 
if I go with my phone and I scan it, Got move it. closer, move closer, I can actually play the game. And I can play it too. Okay. On the phone, you can see it here, it's loading. Yay, it's loading. Cool. All right, uh, let's go back to the game. Let's make it better, Emil. Okay, I was going to play Speedy Bees. Let's play later. So, okay, so what can we do on this game? That's cool. What do you want to change? Make these projectiles faster. Okay, so if you want to make them faster, they should have... Set speed. Maybe a, let's, go, let's go down. Let's, let's go back to where we set the speed. Which was like projectile here? No. Uh, when we create them, we set the speed with the random blocks. Oh, uh, the game update? Oh, yes. I know, here. Here, so how about we put bigger values here? Uh, so that's going to be your maximum speed. So you could do, I don't know, 200. That's going to be very fast. See, so you want see. kind of... <laughs> <laughs> so they're super fast. In fact, it's, it's really unlikely that they go left because... Wow, good idea. I'm going to moderate the sprite. Oh, you want to do a reactor? It's like a, it's Some like flames? A, it's a jet. It's, it's a, a jet? It's a booster. Booster. I'm going to do it on this side. Let's do like... Okay, no, it's not right. Okay, let's click down. Let's, let me show you something else. Okay, so right now there's, there's a little issue. They're not going to go left anytime soon because they kind of are random between minus 25 and 700. You kind of want to give them... Negative 700. Yeah. And actually, it looks cool that they go horizontally. It might be a <gasps> bit. Oh, one was really short. But the, the lifespan will, will get rid of it. Okay, there's other things we can do. For example, we could make the flower move with the, with the buttons. Oh, yeah. So if you remember how to do that from the previous tutorial, the way we move a sprite with the controller is that we go in the controller section. And we select move sprite with buttons. And we can put that right after we create the sprite. And now, not only is it going to shoot uh, those bees, but you can move the flower around. It's getting kind of more fun. It's getting better. Now, let's add some effects. Effects are pretty, uh, pretty yeah. awesome. I wanted to put like a fire effect on the bee because it's going so fast. OK, so uh, let's, go, let's move the code to where we create the bee. Mm -hmm. Or we do that. And what we're going to want to do is, so if we don't know where effect is, how do we find it? There's a lot of blocks. One way to do it is to actually, ooh, everything moved. Oops, yeah. We're here, right? Uh, we're going to be, when we create the projectile. Uh, one way to do it is to search. Effect. So you can start a screen effect, or you can start an effect on the sprite. Let's start an effect on our projectile so, right after we create it. So here, yeah. And there's a bunch of cool effects. Fire. Oh, Fire. Because they're right. going so fast. So now you can see. Oh, I think you put it on my. It's attached to the wrong sprite. It's attached to the wrong projectile. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this fire effect is really awesome. Is it like a gasoline effect? There's uh, the radial thing is like a there's a lot of effects and you can you're welcome to maybe clouds discover them. Cloud is more of a screen effect. Oh okay. Then, the fire was pretty good. Yeah. Fire. Actually, let's start. Let's go to the on start. And now search for effect again. And what you want to do is that do the screen effects, and that's where you can use a cloud. So the first block. So we're going to attach an effect not to a sprite, so don't delete this block. Just undo. Oh, yeah. One, two, one. Okay, go back to the toolbox. And we're going to attach a, a screen effect, the first block. So either you attach an effect to the whole screen, mm -hmm. or you attach it to a sprite. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, we can do confetti. Uh, which is a fun one, but 
This cloud actually would work really well. And now you've got little clouds going on around our... Yeah. What's a star field? Like stars? Star feels like, uh, you know... Like stars? Stars. It looks better on... Black? On like a, like a darker background. But then again... Ooh, I like that. I don't know. Let's see... Yeah, there's a lot of fun ones, and uh, you're welcome to... Uh, Blizzard? Let's try Blizzard. Take a look at them. That's like you're in a slow... Oh, yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, the game is shaping up. Um, and we're going to conclude our session. Uh, if you want to share again your, your game, what you're going to do is click on Share. And then you can record your, your movie. Oh, it's not Speedy Bees anymore. No, it's... Um, I'm thinking bees, no, fire bees. Fire bees. Fire, super bees. Super bees. Okay. Uh, when you share, make sure you record a bit. So click R to start recording, play the game. And it's going to render the GIF for you. Okay, and publish project. And that link you can send to a friend and they can play. The other thing we're going to show is how to download to the hardware. Okay. So let's click on that uh, download. We've got, uh, we've got here, uh, that's an Adafruit Pi Gamer. Gamer. It's another hardware uh, that supports Arcade and you can uh, order Game it from Adafruit.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to download uh, the game into that so click on adafruit pi gamer pi gamer fight the pine gamer plus it's upgraded pi badge and it's going to reload the game and it's going to take a, uh, some it's going to have to compile the game and prepare all the data and then on the pi gamer itself what you want to do is click on the little reset button so plug it to the emil how about you go there plug it to the macro usb cable on your computer and now press the reset button on top and it's going to show this funny dialogue saying pi gamer um, and now you want to go and right click hold on so back to the editor right click save link as and then select the pi gamer boot drive and it's going to transfer the, the game. And when it's done, you've got your game on your device. It's super cool. Uh, you can move around and then you can unplug it and I think go and play. turn the B speed down to like 500. <laughs> Are they fast? Yeah, then they're on fire too. <laughs> this is super cool. Okay, and thank you for the stream. See you on the next one and uh, have fun building games.